I'm here in the Doro Valley with Paul Symington. His family makes such great ports as Dow, War, Graham. I tasted the 2011s. There's some fabulous wines. I particularly liked the Coburn, Graham, and Dow. But also I've tasted almost 200 table wines. It's been an interesting experience. You can see the, the slopes, the vineyards. It's an amazing viticultural area. Uh, we're in the Doro Valley, but we're actually in a subsection called uh, the Pinawa Valley. So, Paul, tell, tell me a little bit about growing vines here, and why uh, does it make such uh, special wines and special ports? Well, with this just a soil that we're standing right here. Th this is an essential component of it. Uh, we have our own special grape varieties, Tariga Nacional, Tariga Franca, Barocca, Suzanne, etc. And it's a combination of this strange soil, um, this beautiful soil, and, um, and these amazing uh, vineyards, and of course the climate. Uh, today is a bit uh, cold, but I, th th these, these vineyards are very hard to uh, manage. They're very steep, we have big problems with erosion. But uh, when we overcome them, they just make magical wines. And, and this is one of my favorites. This is Nuemia, which is a vineyard that I recovered with, um, with a friend of mine. And, um, it's looking really beautiful now. Um, I, I think the Doro is a very special place, and, and you've been coming here for a long time. You know how special it is. No, of course, it's an amazing place. But tell me, also, there's some controversy. Sometimes people are saying, "Oh no, I don't want to make table wines because I make port, or I only make port." There's a little bit of a controversy uh, in that. What, what's your view on the whole thing? Uh, table wines versus port. Th there is a controversy. I, 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 um, I think you know there were some legendary guys who you knew, you knew Juan Nicolau Almeida, who made Barca Velha. And he was just a sort of a little uh, speck, and uh, nobody else, everybody thought he was a bit crazy. Uh, and, but I think since the mid-1990s, uh, there's been a whole new generation of winemakers, and I think it's been fantastic for the dough, fantastic. I mean, we're principally port producers, but we love making red wine as well. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's another aspect, it's a whole other dimension. Uh, I, I think they're great. We're, we're still learning, as you've known from, mm. you, you've been telling me these last few days, that you've found some gems, you've found some where you think they're taking the wrong road. And it would be interesting to see your final judgment, because I think it's really important to have that outside uh, coming in and looking for, with all your experience from other regions. regions. But I, I love those wines, and I think that this soil, these great varieties, but we, we have to refine what we're doing. We're still learning. Um, uh, but I think they're lovely wines. I think the, it's the soil, the climate, the, these rocks. This is what makes these. And you can't drink just port. <laughs> <laughs> it makes life better, exactly. Some good wines, too. Thanks again.